All right, Shalom Aleichem. It's my honor and pri uh, privilege that we have in our town a very chash of a guest, Rabbi Moshe Klein, who in the, in the secular world we would call him a jack of all trades, of many trades. In the Kedusha world, he's Baruch Hashem, a Mayel Muncha, a Seifra Muncha, you know, very, very talented. So we take advantage of, uh, of these type of things. We, Baruch Hashem, from time to time in Minnesota, we see his brother, Yanko, comes from Postville, and he's on our agenda. Next time he comes there, we'll speak to him about Bris Miller. So we'll take advantage of Moshe, because today is a couple of days past Tuba of, and it says in Chesiz Svarim that from Tuba of on already, it's a uh, Chana for Chodesh uh, Elo for Rosh Hashanah, and it says in Svarim that uh, even the kids are Shukhanaro, that in Chodesh Elo you have to prepare uh, the fill and the mezuzahs, and anything that needs uh, preparation, anything that has to be fixed, uh, anything that needs any checking you do. Uh, so let's, you know, a, a, simple fo a simple question to mention. We don't know what we have to do. He, he sees this every single day, 10 times a day, many times a day, to so maybe help us out. So I just want to ask a question to question. The question to question is, is I know that in the Yerushalmi, and it's brought in Shulchan Aruch, it says that there is a chazaka. The chazaka is you buy, you pay a lot of money to buy a good pair of tefillin. And today's days, you can buy an expensive pair of tefillin, and it costs a lot of money. And there's a chazaka that it's good. How long does that chazaka last? And why is there that we, and what causes for us to check Tvilim? Number one is that you write that it says in this forum, and I think I had it even from the Rebbe, that from Hamish also Barov, start saying already, you start wishing each and every one a happy new year. Chodesh Elul is the, the Chodesh of preparation for the new year. And the Rebbe brings it down that it's like a business. When you have a business and you don't make um, Account. accounting every month, every, every day, every week, by us, the month of Elul is the day of accounting for the year, what you did till now, and whatever whatever needs to be fixed should be fixed, and preparing for the day of, uh, of judgment, that the God should give everyone a happy and a healthy new year and a good year, as they say, a passport for 365 healthy days and good days. So there's a difference between Tishrei and Nisan. Hoydish Nisan is the Hoydish of the Tzadikim. There's two, the same posik in what you brought on is Either my uncle or my beloved is to me and I am to him. The Hoyt is a Tzadikim. Hoyt is a Malchuba is a Nile Doidim. We have to start doing something. How do you prepare? First of all, you see what you did wrong, what you missed sometimes to learn, and you wasted some time, or you didn't give an average token. You try to make a decision that from now on, next year, I'm going to be better. One of the things that is brought down, as you said, in Kitsa Shukhanov, is the idea of showing the image that we're trying to prepare for the for the Day of Judgment for Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, we're trying to do good things. One of the good things that we do, Sean Davis, that the great mitzvah of film, the great mitzvah of Mesuzah, that we're doing it as a mitzvah, as a mitzvah as, uh, to, to give away the film of Yad Shos and give away the, 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 the emotion, the, the, the life, the ergish, to give away our intelligence, everything to give away to the Evish Same thing is in Mesuzah also, but the Mesuzah also has the idea of Zoz Moves. The Zuzah means Zoz Moves that uh, Throwing away death, and also mezuzah is the only thing that it guards you even when you're inside or when you're outside. At the same time, when you leave the house, even when you're outside, it guards you. So we're trying to show the image a way that we're trying to get better. We're checking it and making sure that it's 100%. There's nothing wrong there, especially when it's in just ink, natural ink, and natural parchment. There could be sometimes that one of the crowns or one of the letters a little bit faded or a little bit erased. So we have to fix it. There's many, many laws. What could be fixed, what could not be fixed. And the truth is, just to finish up with what you said, that the Gemara says, and the Rambam thing brings it down, that one of the Tanoi, I don't remember exactly now, says that this film now for my great grandfather, and we never checked it, because the film now being written, the very put in, as the Chazok of Kash, there's no question about it, for the whole life of you, and even for, to give it over to other people after 120. But again, as to prepare for the Yom Toimim, we have a Indian to show the image that we're opening it up and we check that everything is 100% perfect, and even if it's perfect, to make sure that, it's, that there's no problem. But to summarize what you said, it's how the dry letter of the law, there is a chazaka that, as long as you bought it from a kosher, 100%. And, and it was a kosher, you should be the shemaim, safer, and you paid for it, and the, the, you know, you got the right thing, it's, it's perfect. And especially, especially now in the last generation, it came up the 
computer with OCR that checks the, the, the proof list, the, the partial, the film, to make sure that there's nothing missing and nothing extra and there's all, everything there. It's, it's almost impossible. It's almost impossible. Okay. But however, you're saying Mikitat Choy to show, or you want to show that you want, you want the, the Ebishter to be extra special to you, you're actually asking for a Chesed Chilam from the Ebishter, so show something Some that, that you do something. Okay. Except, except now, that. don't you feel that the Rebbe introduced this even more when the Rebbe would always say, the Dikas Tvilam Mezuzah? The Rebbe pushed, did the Rebbe push checking Mezuzahs even more than the, than, than there is, there's not even a word to say 100% or a million percent. The Rebbe, number one, pushed, as you say, to check the feeling of the Zuzas. The Rebbe also brought on the, the awareness of elevating and changing the whole idea of the of Zuzas. Till the Rebbe came out, there was even in beautiful Hasidic and even Litvish, everybody had the Zuzas. It was written so beautiful, it was written so nice. It was kosher 100%, but there was kosher, there was kosher. It was, kosher. It was written not nice, and it's kosher, but there was written something beautiful and more beautiful. So why would, why, why would they not... Uh, is that Haley Van Bay or did it apply? It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't enough software maybe today, it wrote like this. But the Rebbe elevated it and added on hundreds and hundreds of software because there was the demand since the Rebbe came out with this Mifzan film, the Mifzan Bezuzet, the demand for it was, was just unbelievable. And a lot of people started doing it and people started looking at one where ones. And how many mofsim and how many miracles that the Rebbe uh, uh, provided and did with this idea of Tulem Mezuzas? And the Rebbe said to check the Tulem and check the Mezuzas and find that something was wrong there. That uh, I mean, as the Chazaka that it's good, but something was not good, and they fixed it. And by the way, everything was good. One of the most uh, one of the most recent things I really I know for you also that uh, the most common problem are uh, outdoor mezuzahs, the, the rain, the rain day. I know you started selling these outdoor yes. shayla. I actually, I don't know, I came across a very interesting shayla, this Shabbos. There is, this Shabbos, I saw a shayla. If somebody has a uh, temporary canvas, uh, canvas uh, 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 shed, a uh, shed. So because it's not a permanent house, it's a diras aray, it could be it's plucked him in a mezuzah. But it's a, it's a boat yeah. plane. It's a maris ayin, there's a shayla you should put in a mezuzah. So somebody asked, if it's only if it's a maris ayin, maybe you should only be allowed to put a shagel. You should don't have to put anything inside. It's only maris ayin. So anyway, it's an interesting shayla. Okay. So now, but I know they started, se started selling now shayla waterproof. Yes. So I'm, I'm bringing this up. Please tell the audience, what are the most, what do you know as the most common problems that pass on mezuzahs in film that people don't even realize? Like the outdoor mezuzahs say it rains. Uh, film, uh, I, mean, I just wrote an article for, for the Compass magazine, for lifted, and they made a lifted film. What are, they, a bunch of shilas. So I, I just went through the different things that pass on film, whatever. So if you could tell, tell the no, no, boys. No, number one, number one in film is, film is but you should be careful. Number one is don't leave it in your trunk when you travel a long time and the sun is, in, sun is baking on it. What does that cause? This could cause the parachutes inside to fade or to, to, to crumble. There's a major effect on it as we would take. And water especially, water has a major effect on parchment and on, and on the ink. The water comes on the parchment and gets... So it's not only in the trunk, it's in anywhere in the Anywhere, anywhere. And, 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 and the Avdu, I don't know how to say Avdu in English, but Avdu, no. to, not, to, not to compel. When you come home from a rain, and you take your shoes and put it next to the radiator, tomorrow morning you wouldn't be able to put it on. It's going to shrink. Okay. So the idea of heat and all these things makes major changes in leather. Everything that is being done in Finland is leather. Next thing is that with time, with, with the davening, if you don't have the little cover on it, it loses the being square. And square is a lot of Rabbi Messina. The film has to be Meruboy. Meruba, 100 percent There is a most aloches in one area that there is a lot of Moish Messina is in film. There's ten things that it's a lot of Moish Messina. And number two that people don't realize this is very important. I think maybe it pays the whole talking just about this. That if somebody would come into a shul of five thousand people and somebody goes up on the beam on the altar and he has film is missing paint. It looks like white spots or white completely. 
and what is going to think that is either, either crazy or tell me you're putting on fossil fuel, it's cost you 100% of your sewage. The leaf that is in the, the sewage, in the, from ear to ear or to ear, whatever the uh, aloha is, or this piece, and a little bit coming down, there is one place that it's white and it's separated, you could see it from far that it's separated, you're not putting on film. Or, in other words, there are two ways have to, is our local motion right. that has to be That's black. Right. And we see, it, we see it also in a local yeah. that to paint it film, a lady could do that, because whatever has to be done in film, that it's a must, must be done by a man, because the same it says, whoever is, whoever has to put it down, he has to hide it. And it comes to the choice, a lady could not do it because it must be black. The film doesn't have to be black, so she could also do it. One second, what causes the paint to drop from the material? It's, it's very simple. It's, it's leather, and you bend it, and you tie it, and you... Uh, so it comes time that it go, comes off, or it fades. And it says, the aloha, it says, the aloha, the motion is in it. says, clearly, it has to be black, as when you see in the street, a crow. Right. How are you doing? A bird. A bird. A crow is very, very black. That's how it's supposed to be. So now they came out with a new thing. Number one is double side. Number one is good to have in your if you have the regular having your talus bag a marker that it's fine and you could use it. And you, but remember, if you're going to do a place that it looks not good, you want to make it good. You must say the shame can do just film. Otherwise, it's not kosher. One second. Now, when you say marker, I know they sell a special marker. Special marker. Does it have to be a special marker? No. Could, no, you, could no. you buy a marker? Very, very, very good question. Let me tell you what it is. In film and mezuzahs, everything has to be made the same Kedusha's film. When they put in the a hide into the line to make it parchment, it must be done by a Jew that could say the same Kedusha's film and the same Kedusha's toilet. There's one thing in the whole idea of film that could be that doesn't have to be done is the ink that you do. So could you buy a marker? The problem is that you have to make sure the company that the marker does not have anything in it that it's not kosher. Everything that it's going into film has to be like to say, like to say edible. But it doesn't. You don't have to eat ink. But it has to be able to be eaten because it's not safe. Right, right, right. Sometimes they put in it to shine. They put in fat from a pig. So this is makes it makes you it know, kosher. You know, a marker. I know. I know. Rabbi Rabbi Zayungo once. Years ago, 20 years ago, I called him and I told him that what do you do? Somebody is a shlech and he doesn't have how to paint his with Swiss. So he checked it out. He, he, you know, he's in cash, he's a very expert. So he checked it out. He came back that kiwi, the shupalish kiwi, is 100% fine. There's nothing in there. So if you take a little piece and with a, with a cutie or something, say the shame goes and you make it fine. This is in film. Then in. Uh, then so in, to, let me summarize. So Rabbi Klein is saying to be careful on a couple of things. Make sure. An elo, make sure you check your film should be square, make sure your sewer is black, make sure not to leave its film in the cars that the oasis. Obviously, you can't check the oasis because you have to open oh, it up. Right. But so if, it you still, if, if your film were out exposed to the heat for a long time, and a radiator sometimes, a radiator, but that's the winter. If your film were exposed or, or in a hot place for a long time, then it's crazy to be checked. Check. What else? But Mizuza, as you said, Inside Mezuzah there's no problems. The outside Mezuzah there's pro two problems. Number one is that rain. As you said before, rain ruins the Mezuzah completely. Number two is that the sun. Sun and the Mezuzah, sometimes I get a Mezuzah and I open it up and I'm not allowed to open it up because it crumbles. So if I open it up, I made, I made a shame Hashem to crumble and it's an Isam to do it. So what do I put it in the Gnizia. As soon as I see the tether. So the idea is what we have now, we have which incidentally, I just saw that you answered the Shiloh that you should teach the, the, the Shluchim today about not, not rushing the Gnizah. Exactly. exactly right. But this is one of the main alochas is that we have to try to find as much as we could not to bury Shem Hashem because it's a very, very holy thing and as more we use it, it's more, much better than to bury. So you have to find as much as you could to be able to say that it's kosher. Now we have a, a double thing in the same case. We have a case that it's waterproof. It's closed with a oak. The case, the case. The case is waterproof. And also, at the same time, it's not glass. It's not see-through. It's a white plastic. What is that? White throws away the sun. So the sun could not burn it. As I said before, when I get it and it's burned, you're not allowed even to open it. You just have to bury it as soon as you can. What is, is this taka true, the Lubavitch custom, not to have a... a a dark closed uh, uh, cover 
Our customs have a seafood. No, 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 our, our customs, I'll tell you what. No, not a seafood. No, if, if it's with a paper, they have a spoon, they have a salad, there's paper around the mezuzah. What is the idea? The idea is two things. Number one is we say that in Beis Amikdosh, by Shlima Melech, it says that we've never heard any any clapping of, of metal and things. And in Mizbeach, if anything ah. we don't, don't want to use metal. Metal is made to shorten life. And is made, that's one of the reasons that we don't use it. So a bang and a, a mezuzah like that, you need to have metal? metal. No, 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 we're not using metal cases. Oh, but plastic? Right? Plastic, we do use plastic. The, the ultra, I can see because the Rebbe is in his room, just paper, no cases we're using it. And I found that a very interesting thing. Where, where is it coming from? There is um, Gershomber Jacobson in his Algemein wrote once something that he got from, you know, after the, after Perestroika, they got something from Russia. So he got an article that it was written by the governor of Lubavitch. He came to visit in Tzimat He writes a he writes, um, diary. He came to visit Tzimat He says he was a short man and he was laying in bed and it looked like the bed is too big for him. Interesting, the, the observation that he saw, yeah? And it was with a white beard and a very interesting face and a light, the face was lighting. And then, talking to him, it came time that he should leave, so they helped him get out of bed, and he followed them, he escorted them outside as a, as a mitzvah, you know, that when a guest comes to you, when he came to the door, he came together, he put his hand up and he put something on, on a piece of paper. Later they told him that this is a part of the Torah that has written and has been included in the paper. That's why the Babich now would like to use paper and also... But he saw him, he said that it was, and that maybe there was no cases that even. And the idea is also that we want the Mitzvah to be as close as possible to the door without any... I never heard anything else. So it's not Dafka Dafka? Not Dafka? Dafka Dafka? Yeah. Also, also, if you're talking a little about it and it's going for adults, and it's very important that when you have your mezuzah, when you have your mezuzah in your bedroom, when the door closes and you see the mezuzah is inside or a closet in your room, you have to make it in, you have to make it in two kisui, clean it very clean. But you wrap it. What, what would be considered clear? As you be, wrap it anyway. Wrap it, you wrap it with saran wrap, so it's see-through. You have to wrap it with a paper, and in a case that it's not see So be two kisui. So the, so the plastic, so the plastic cover. The plastic itself is not good enough. And the plastic, because there is a big It wouldn't be enough. No. If, if you put in in two papers, and then in the then in the seat, the plastic is fine. It has to be in two kisui, because uh, obviously people are going undressed and everything. That's uh, a part of it. Of the so that's what we do. One last thing I forgot. I want to give it up. I want to mention. You must mention one of the greatest sources. I don't know. One of the greatest chusim that my, my client has is from Tashim Nun Beis to Tashim Nun Dalit. That my client had his chus to be in the Rebbe's room every single day. And I think I was told every single day from Chav Zayin Oder until Gimel Tam. Is that right? I mean, I don't want to know. I, I don't want to ask. I don't want to know. I don't like to say Ashlecha Bebergel Schuscha and Schuscha Eich Beistein. And I'm sure the schools stayed by and they should get covered and they should get covered. If, if you have time, otherwise you can take it off after I finish. I did listen to one party, party and another one. About what? What was it? A the lady that became about two Yeah, I saw that one. I saw that one. I saw that one. I saw that one. Just not a nurse. A nurse. Yeah, I saw it. I saw that one. Okay, Ashik, do you want to say anything else about Elul? Or about, or about Lim and Halacha, Bechal, all these type of things that are now How important is the learning of Halacha? Everybody, very important, because I just had a few minutes time and I looked at the new safer that Rabbi Willem gave out. I'm amazed. It's just unbelievable. I'll take it with me and I promise I'm going to look at it every day. There, there is something there. There's things that it's unbelievable that you could learn. And everything is being finished with a, with a shyle and an answer. Try to cover up the answer and try to see if you know the, the answer by yourself. That's very important. Shikoyach and Shikoyach. Thank you. Thank you.